Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a very specialized set of wrenches. These are the Vera Joker 6004 series, the self-adjusting spanner wrenches from Vera. And these particular wrenches come in a four-piece set with a very nice uh, soft case cover, full Velcro C or uh, lip here. And they range from their extra small to their large version. And then these I had to purchase separately. This is the XL and this is the XXL. So the size ranges on these, first of all, uh, this extra small goes from seven to 10 millimeter or quarter inch to three eighths. The small is 10 to 13 millimeters, seven sixteenths to half inch. Medium is 13 to 16 millimeters, half inch to five eighths. Large is 16 to 19 millimeters, five eighths to three quarter. I'm gonna set these to the side for the moment. And then the XL, uh, is 19 to 24 millimeters, three quarters to 15 sixteenths of an inch. And the XXL, 24 millimeters to 32 millimeters, 15 sixteenths to inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna set that one to the side for the time being. We'll concentrate on this one to talk about a little bit more how these are made. Well, uh, first of all, let me tell you about the price. So recently the price on these has come down and this is really the reason that I went ahead and purchased this set. These are very expensive wrenches and they're really specialized wrenches uh, as well so this particular set the four piece set was 170 dollars this one i believe was 45 dollars by itself and this one was 55 dollars for a total of 270 dollars worth of wrenches so one might ask why does does any one person need a 270 dollars set of wrenches and for most people the simple answer is going to be that you absolutely don't need uh a $270 set of wrenches. These are really specialized. They'll be great in any mechanics toolbox. I purchased these because of the specialized need that I have for just a, a variety, a few different fasteners that uh, I need on uh, this type of wrench on a regular basis. And I realistically, I could have gotten by with the XL, the large and the medium version ranging from half inch all the way up to three quarter would have uh, would have covered all my needs, but I'm really kind of a sucker for keeping things in sets. And so I went ahead and purchased all six. Now let's talk a little bit about the construction of this. First of all, the handle is something that I wasn't certain that I was going to like before purchasing these. Uh, you can see that it kind of bellies out here in the width. It also bellies out here in thickness. Now, once I got them though, and, and started using them, I found that to be quite ergonomical. I really like the way that fits the hand, that extra width in there, just it's it's really comfortable it's it's something that you have to try to experience to to know just how comfortable these wrenches are to use but they did a really nice job on the ergonomics of these particular wrenches they've also taken out some material wherever they can in order to lighten the load of the wrench and it gives it kind of this i-beam construction that that just broadens out as it gets to the head of the wrench and uh, they are incredibly strong i'm not sure what the metal composition is of these but vera make some extremely extremely good tools much like knipix does in their line of tools as well and so i assume that this is going to be one of the highest quality steels that you can put in a wrench of this type so the way these work is that the uh, they are self-adjusting as they as they uh, stay in their literature but how they work is you get a little bit of jimping here and so this the uh, entire wrench head will pivot open and as you do those spring spring loaded jaws will open up and then they'll spring back whenever you release them so i've got a, a 5 8 bolt here which is 15 16 head that we're going to demonstrate some of the features here so one thing that you'll notice right off the start is that uh without even any pressure on here that this the spring load jaw is actually holding that bolt up from uh, not allow, allowing it to fall so it gets a very tight fit around the fastener and now when you go to torque on these it gets even tighter and functions a lot like the Knipix pliers wrenches do in that respect where the the tighter that you the more pressure that you put on it the tighter it grips uh, the said fastener so this is where these really really shine now unlike the Knipix these are these can get into a little tighter zones because of the angle of the head uh, and the construction of the wrench. And though they are limited to a particular size range for each particular wrench, unlike the Knipix, which have a, a much wider range of use, uh, these can get into some very, very tight areas. Now, with this design too, because of that spring load, you'll notice that you can operate this at like a ratchet wrench. And, and that is something that I really like. An open-ended ratchet wrench is, is uh, 
the first that I know of on the market. I mean, there may be some other knockoffs, but uh, that is a very nice feature on these wrenches. And this is especially useful if you're trying to get onto a fastener that is clo that's closed off, such as in the case if it's uh, like a tensioning nut on an, on an alternate rod. So with that function, it gives you 60 degrees of arc rotation. So you run around and it, it's just six times around 360 degree circle gives you 60 degrees but you'll notice up here at the front of the jaw it has these little v notches and what those are designed for is to grip onto the corners of the bolt like that and that will reduce the arc swing down to 30 degrees now i've only haven't used these a whole lot yet i've used them on a couple different occasions and i've actually tried out this feature to see how well this would hold in and so far, I haven't had it slip, not one iota. That doesn't mean that, it, that the, the potential for rounding off a nut is not nut or bolt is not there. Uh, it's just that because of the way these operate and because of the increased tension that you get with those jaws when they close up, they are providing that clamping force. Uh, it's less likely that they're going to round off. I don't. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but I have been really impressed with how strongly these wrenches grip onto. Uh, any given fastener. So like I said, I've had a chance to use them for a little while. I have found them to be ideal for a lot of different situations for uh, nuts and fasteners that are in very tight locations where I need to grip onto them and be able to hold them. They would also be good for if you are uh, blindly setting uh, if you got a nut in here, you're trying to blindly set a bolt uh, where the jaws will actually kind of hold that nut in place. So you're in places where you can't necessarily get your hands. Uh, another place that they would come in handy. But one thing that, that I think, or one area that I think these would be especially useful for, especially in this XXL version, would be for technicians who are doing alignment. So if you're adjusting the, the tie rod nuts, uh, this would be an ideal tool for that application my personal needs i have several different fasteners of different sizes that are in awkward positions and that's the reason that i ended up purchasing these so all in all these wrenches are just fantastic and i, I you really can't say enough about the vera quality uh much like the Knipix quality they just make some really awesome tools now this is really kind of my first real dive into vera products uh I'm probably going to end up getting more of their Joker series because I like these particular wrenches so much that I want to try out some of their other stuff. Now, I know that they're high end and they're not for everybody, but you get what you pay for when you're purchasing these. And if you buy these, you will not be disappointed with their quality. This is the Vera Joker 6004 series self-adjusting spanner wrenches. I highly recommend them, especially to mechanics who are always working in very tight locations. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.